Hey there, New Horizon. It's Pastor Mark, and I'm sitting outside the church. I had to escape the potluck today because I just keep eating. And man, what good stuff. Those crock pots loaded with soup and chili for our contest and all those desserts and everybody that brought stuff. Great fellowship. Man, it had been a long time since we've been together. I'm so thankful for all who came and all who were part. And we were celebrating our big give month with all the people that have given so faithfully and, and sacrificially and for our big, 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 big giver. I'm I'm telling you, God is on the move, friends. Isn't it a ball to be a part of? Hey, this is November. Can you believe it's here already? And here we go, gang. We've got some stuff coming down. For instance, this coming Saturday, we're going to meet with Restoration Urban Ministries and a lot of the towns in, or the churches in town at Westside Park, 4 to 7 p.m., and we're simply going to pray. Restoration is calling it light in the darkness. And so we're praying seven points of light. It has to do with the poverty and the drug addiction and the violence and the broken families, those kinds of things in our community. And uh, this is what we do as Christ followers. We intercede for God's people and care for them in that way. We'd love for you to be a part. Might be chilly, so, uh, so put a jacket on, will you? And then today, man, we started this message series called Here Come the Holidays. And some people are like, oh man, isn't it a little bit early? You know, that's because the holidays can fatigue us. They can just wear us out. That's not God's plan. You know, holidays are all through the scriptures, celebrations and festivals and all that kind of stuff. God prescribes them. And I think because it's good for us. It's uh, We're seasonal beasts and we need those rhythms, you know, time for celebration and time for being with one another and time for recognizing our God. And all the way through the scriptures, we're called to gather in those ways. It's a joyful thing. Do you know that holiday comes from the term holy day? What makes things holy? God does. Inviting God into our day, into our season, into our celebration, into our lives makes things great. Because God's holiness is where his joy is and his strength. It's what God has for us all, friends. So we hope you'll be along the way with us as we do the Here Comes the Holiday series and, and through November and into December. We're worshiping, thanking, celebrating our God because he is extravagant, just like that potluck inside there. Hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you over the weekend. Bye-bye.